This is a question from databases. Let R be a relational schema having attributes A, B, C, D, F, G, H and F be the set of dependencies and F is equal to A determines B, A, B, C, D determines E, E, F determines G, E, F determines H and A, B, C, A, C, D, F determines E, G. The minimum cover of the set of functional dependencies is what? So first of all, what is minimal cover? The minimal cover of a set of functional dependencies is the smallest set of dependencies that is equivalent to the original set. So minimal cover is the smallest set of dependencies dependencies equivalent to original set of dependencies original set of dependencies now the usual steps involved in finding the minimal cover is first we split the right hand attributes of all functional dependencies so we ensure that rhs has only single attribute if it is having more than one attribute then we split it that is the first step then we remove all redundant dependencies for example a determines b b determines c and a determines c here a determines c is redundant dependency because a determines B and from B we can determine C. So A is determining C is redundant. So we remove redundant dependencies. Redundant dependencies are removed. Removed. Then we find the extraneous attribute and remove it. That is any extra attributes that are present which are not necessary are also removed. Now based on this concept, let's try to solve it. So first is A determines B. This has only one attribute in the arches and it is irreducible. So this is required. Next one is A, B, C, D determines E. Now we know that A can determine B. So B is extra in this. So B can be removed and this dependency is A, C, D determines E. Next one is E, F determines G. This has arch, one attribute in the arches and there is no extra attributes that is present in the LHS. So this is required. This is okay. This is not required. And EF determines H. This also follows the same principle. So this is also required. Next one is ACDF determines EG. So from this dependencies, ACD is determining E. So this can be replaced with E. And EF determines EG. This is the thing. So initially here itself, there is EF determines G. And E determines E is already no, so this whole dependency is also not required. So the minimal cover is A determines B, A, C, D determines E, E, F determines G, E, F determines H, and these are the minimal set of dependencies required, and this is the minimum cover. Now let's see using these dependencies whether can we generate the whole attribute set. That is this. So A determines B. So A, B is generated. A, C, D determines E. A, C, D determines E. So we are having C, D, E here. E, F determines G. So with F, E, F we can determine G. And similarly, E, F determines H. So the set of attributes A, B, C, D, F, G, H. The whole attributes can be determined using this set of attributes. So this is the minimal cover. So from the options, option A. A determines B. A, C, D determines E. E, F determines G. EF determines H. This is the minimal cover. So option A is the right choice here.